Hey, hey, Spring Lafay, Simply Tara. Okay, Aquarius, I feel another one for you. Drawn to the Archangel deck, and let me go ahead and say if this doesn't feel like it's for you, just leave it behind. Check your uh, birth chart. So, you may need to look at your rising moon or Venus sign. Okay, four Aquarius. Ten of Michael. Okay, a situation has ended, and you are finally free. You're finally free. You're finally going to let go of something or have let go of something. New opportunities for happiness will follow. They will now follow. Put the past behind you. You know, it's time. It's time to let that go. Whatever that situation was, let it go. A great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication. So you're going to have some form of communication come to you that's going to be very important. Could be this reading. Um, but it's very important communication. You're going to have a great deal of activity that you're going to be involved in. Two of Michael. It will all be better if you just make a decision over analyzing a problem, find a compromise. So, there's going to be some sort of question, some sort of uh, decision that will need to be made. And don't overanalyze it. Don't, you know, just keep dwelling on it. Just make the right decision. You know, you may need to get some advice. You know, you may have to find a compromise. Okay, page of Michael. An exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents very, very thoroughly. Don't put your name on the dotted line without reviewing it first. Don't do that. Ten of Ariel. There is so very much to be grateful for. Financial success and the promise of retirement. A rich and rewarding family life. So... I feel like that by letting go of whatever was holding you back from the past, it's like you may have been in a lull and that was keeping you there. And now it's like you're ready to break free from that, that place of lullness, of staying in that, you know, horrible place. Um, I feel like that um, you've got this. You've got this. You know, things are going to be looking up for you and your family. Uh, page of Gabriel on the bottom. Energetic, brave, optimistic, playful. Um, you know, and then like on this one, truthful, perceptive, analytical, and blunt. Getting to the point. Uh, but this one here, follow your passion. Be You are ready for any challenge, opportunities, and for excitement and adventure. So opportunities coming your way. Be ready for that. It feels like I need to pull this card here um, as well as that one. Okay, let me go ahead and get that one. And that one. Okay. We've got number nine, Infinity. Or I think that's what that word is. Infinity. I think so. Archangel Raziel. And this says, Joy through spiritual growth. Be a light to others. Answers that come through meditation. So pay attention when you meditate. Pay attention when you sleep to any messages you receive. And, you know, be that light for other people. Um, on Spiritually, have that moment of growth that can help you going forward. And I feel like that's what's, that's what's happening. And you're going to follow that light, you know. You're going to be bright and um, show the world that, you know, things can take you, happen and try to take you down, but you're not going to allow it to knock you off of your uh, place that you have put your feet firmly in the ground. Number four, the emperor, Archangel Uriel. Uh, Uriel. Stability and efficiency. Taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans. So keep those plans. You got this. You've got this. It's got that feeling. Nine of Gabriel. Stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility. 
environmental acti activism. So you may be called to help the environment in some way, but this is awesome. It's got a good feel to it. It's got a positive feel going forward, you know, away from a place of negativity and being in a lull. You're no longer there. This is awesome. Let's get you some angel messages. Oh, yeah. We've got Go Within. That takes me to meditation. Yep. It says, You are a very intuitive person, and there are many wonderful insights that lie waiting inside you. Take time to be quiet and reflect upon the desires of your heart through meditation and prayer. There's no need to take action right now. Be patient with yourself. So be patient with yourself. Give yourself the room that you need to. Okay, let's take some more cards. Oh yeah, some more oracle cards, messages for Aquarius. Picking up on Aquarius big time today. And if you are a different sign or you want me to do a reading on a different sign, Put it in the comments. I usually get a reading that way for them. Changing your mind. Changing the way that you see things. Changing your mindset. Changing that look forward. That changes everything. Oh my goodness. That's, that's got such a good feel to it. It's like changing your mind starts opening doors. That's what it feels like. You know, when you let go of the past, you start opening new avenues. <clears throat> it's like it opens you up to the new. And all you had to do was change your mindset, change the way that you've seen something, the way that you deal with something. <clears throat> Sorry. If you're having trouble speaking, um, you may need to do some meditations around clearing the throat chakra as well. Okay, Rubalite. Passion and Purpose. And it says... Your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that's dear to your heart. So, something to think about. Do you have a project that's very dear to your heart that you need to work on? Now is the time. Number 24, Third Eye Chakra. I see the wisdom of my higher self and apply this wisdom in my life. I need to do some meditations around the third eye chakra as well. Let's take you an affirmation card. We've got happiness. Okay, you can stop the reading, the video at any point in time and write this affirmation down so that you can speak it yourself. Okay, if you would, repeat after me. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path, and so it is. That's got a good feel to it. It really does. Um, for those of you that are on your soul's journey, your soul path, you know, your uh, spiritual path, We've got the Age of Light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. That's beautiful. Oh, it's got such a feel to it. Let's get you one of these. I'm just feeling oracles, oracles. It's like they're calling to me. Too many. That one's too many. Too many. I'm not going to take it. We just want one. Possibly two. That's it. 
There, no, nope, no. Nope. Yep, that's it. That's it. Okay, this is it. We got the two. We've got individuality and forgiveness. We'll start with individuality, and it says, You leave your unique stamp of love on everything that you do. On everything you do, you leave that unique stamp of love, and that makes you very individual, very you. And that's awesome. Because you're awesome. Don't forget that. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Forgiveness. You are now able to activate the power of love in order to re release past hurts. That is awesome. Awesome sauce. Sure is. It's got such a good feel to it as well. Let's get you a... Uh, animal oracle card here squirrel spirit number 57 believe in yourself believe in yourself this is beautiful keep that mindset of confidence and know that no matter what is going on around you don't allow it to take you to a point of lowness worry will do no good you know getting in that place of worry what's it going to change you know what i'm saying Stay in, in a good, positive mindset and don't allow the things around you to take you to that place of negativity. Yeah. Now, I know some of you want romance, want romance, or you have romance, or you have that person and you want a romance card. So, for those of you that want a romance card, I'm going to take one right here in a minute. Now, this one here may not be about romance. It, it just kind of can be, but doesn't have to be. Um, I found that out on this deck. Okay. Can I have the card, please? Thank you. Girl with a snake. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay. Empath and narcissistic parad paradigm. Being charmed or used enable your boundaries. So, put up those boundaries. Don't allow people to... to to use you, to charm you, to um, try to get you to do what they want. Don't do it. You put up your boundaries. Be strong. Be a strong individual person. Um, even if you're in a relationship, you've got this. You can do this. Don't allow anyone to um, take advantage of you. That's what it feels like. Okay, let's get you one of these. Look at that beautiful card right there. Go out and hug a tree. Go out and into nature. Be at one with nature. You know, allow yourself to release the negativity and draw in that. Oh, it feels so powerful sometimes when you just get out into nature and you know that the the negativity is leaving your body and positivity is coming within. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart desires. And yes, you do. Keep that mindset in your head. Do not let it, do not let it go out. You know, um, often people will They'll be in a good mindset, you know. They'll be in a nice positive place and then they'll, they'll watch a reading and oh my goodness, yes. But then it does not come right when they want it to. And it's like they take these steps backwards into this place of negativity. Well, they didn't get it when they wanted it. It didn't come then, you know. And you can't do that. These readings are timeless. They happen when they're supposed to happen. You know, we're not, um, yeah, we're the messenger. <laughs> we can't control when. You know, so don't allow yourself to get in a no, no negative place. Don't, don't, don't do it. You got this. Don't do it. Stay positive. You've got this. Now for that romance card. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. For Aquarius. Ooh, mercy. Look at there. Playfulness. Ooh. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So if you've already got your person, you may need to get playful. You may need to delve into that energy that you may have had when you first met the person. You know, that 
uh, wild and youthful uh, spirit of fun and just allow it to shine if you know you haven't got playful with anyone yet and you haven't got your person but you want your person be playful you may have to get your flirt on you know put yourself out there and allow yourself to be seen in the joyful light that you are um, this is beautiful it's got a good feel to it and you got this you do um, if you like the readings, give them a thumbs up, and please do subscribe. That you know that, that helps. It helps to grow the platform. It helps to bring people to the channel, and um, helps our soul family to grow. And you know, I, I do pick up on Aquarius a lot. You know, maybe because I'm an Aquarius. Um, like I said, check your birth chart. You know, I often feel check every every placement in your birth chart but you know most people say your um, sun moon rising and venus so yeah if this reading does not um resonate with you just leave it you know and check that birth chart because you may have a, a different sign in your birth chart and that reading may resonate with you like that and if you want me to do a reading for a, a different sign put that in um, the comments because I usually pick up a reading when you put that in the comments um, if I'm not picking up on other signs like right now it seems to be that Aquarius is coming through so strongly um, yeah Thank you so much for being here with me, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Keep me and my family in your prayers. I would truly appreciate that. My are trying to follow me there. Much light and love. Bye.